Hey YouTube, just coming to you here. I got a Case uh, Patriot 3330 sprayer and uh, just going through it, getting ready for some uh, spring work. And wanted to change the rear gear case oil. So I was watching on YouTube another fellow that was doing a walkthrough and he said that you could take because it is such a pain. You are supposed to fill through the breather tube and then it'll just keep burping back at you and it's kind of ornery. So up in between these two pumps is this gear case and there's a sight glass. And I took that off and I had a fairly decent ratchet on there and I had to put a snipe. It was tight, tight, tight. So I took that off and then the drain is right here and that is a 9 16th uh, Allen. Can't see that. 9 16 Allen key. So I just drained the oil out the bottom. And then the fella said that you could extend this out. And then you could just put a funnel coming down like through here. Like a flex funnel or something. And so I thought, well, maybe I could bring it all the way from the case through here. And then have it right here and it even be easier to fill but you cannot get through here it does not line up uh right so you will hit so i had to so this is a eight inch and it's three quarter by the way three quarter mpt pipe thread so i found a three quarter inch nipple eight inches long and a three quarter inch t and i'm going to thread that up in there and then I had to loosen this just to get it out of the way. So I'll re-tighten that once I have this in here. And then I'll put my... I'll put my sight glass in the end. And then I'm just cleaning up a plug to put in the top. And then it should work. So I'll show one more video when I'm going to fill. But at least you guys will know that it's 3 quarter inch MPT. Get a nipple from the hardware store, something that's got a decent wall thickness or whatever. It's not like there's any stress on there or nothing, but you don't want anything coming apart. So just make sure she's tight and then should come there and then I'll get a flex funnel kind of back up in there and then it should, should work. Okay, just wrapped up here. So I put that eight inch nipple with the T and then I put the sight glass in on the end of it. And then I run my filler. Now this works really good because on the bottom there, you can kind of regulate how fast the oil, because you can't dump it in there, otherwise it'll just hit because it's gear oil and it's got to run into the gear case. So you can only go so fast, otherwise it'll spill out kind of there. So at least you can regulate it. And then it took the full three, three quarts. And so I looked in the book and it is the gear increaser and three US quarts. So it should be good. Um, not gonna say, I, I think from up in here is where I'll put the plug, like to get the plug back in there. But it, again, it's still tight for room and because you can't run it straight on through, that would be ideal. So it's still not the best thing. I'm sure it works better than filling through the breather hose, but whatever, if you're just doing it once a year, depending on how many hours you put on your sprayer. I guess it's somewhat of a fix. And I had all the fittings just lying around on the farm. So it's not like it cost anything to try and do this. So, okay. Oh, and the, this, when you're taking this out, I don't think I mentioned at first that sight glass is an inch and a 16th. I said it was a real, no, sorry, inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter is that sight glass. So when you're taking that off of the gear case, uh, it was a grunt to start with, and then I just tightened it back on there. Life was good. So, okay, take care. Hopefully this will help somebody. All right.